Scare Master. So based on this picture, you have Applejack in a lion costume. Ugh. I'm thinking this is just gonna be an Alice in, or not an Alice in Wonderland, what am I saying? A Wizard of Oz parody. Ugh, like every show does that though, and it's so annoying most of the time. And it's usually never funny. I don't know, not looking forward to this at all then. Like, I don't know, I can think of a bunch of shows that did it, like Sweet Life on Deck, uh, Victorious. Can't actually think of that many cartoons though that did it. I don't know. I, I mean, I know I've seen it a ton of times in shows, I just can't think of any. But this is called Scare Master, and there was, wasn't there an episode called Stare Master? Something about Fluttershy can stare at animals and control them or something something like that oh yeah and i found i found this video of uh or no it was because i was curious what the uh what the voice actor for pinkie pie looked like like while she was talking because it's always just so weird looking at voice actors when they're doing their voices and just seeing how it's just this this weird cartoonish voice is coming from a real human being but then i found like a it was like a compilation of, of, of like moments at panels and it was like really interesting to see all the voice actors and like i have like actually that like gave me a lot more respect for these voice actors like they're actually so talented and so funny it's just the characters they play are so horrible and obnoxious so yeah it, one of the things i remember is uh tara strong <laughs> tara strong said that uh when she gets like a telemarketer she'll just start doing one, like a voice like a like a little kid voice and just messing with them and then the the telemarketer will be like oh can you tell me where your mommy is <laughs> And then, yeah, that was just funny. Okay, so, uh, the episode. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, I'm gonna be watching a few of these in a row for the past, like, well, this entire season, except at the beginning of the season, I watched one episode a day, but now I'm gonna start watching two because, uh, I'm not gonna have time to record, or, well, I don't have a place where I can record for a, a little while, so, yeah. So, I mean, but this could, that could affect how I interpret some of these episodes if I, since I'm gonna be watching two in a row. So, Fluttershy is clearly scared of something. Guess there's something scary that's gonna happen happen in the night it's nightmare night oh it's halloween is that what they called it in the other episode because there was another episode about halloween uh something like nightmare moon was redeemed as a character instead of just a villain or well luna not nightmare whatever also kind of weird that they put the halloween episode after a christmas episode it just seems like dumb placement i guess just fluttershy is scared of everything yeah so fluttershy is just she has to get some food for her bunny and uh that's it and she doesn't want to go outside because it's scary. I guess I'm supposed to be laughing. I don't know. Not entertained at all. It comes the jump scare because uh, it's a big shadow for small spike. Wait, what? So he's like a conjoined dragon? I don't care. Or no, he's just a he's just a two-headed dragon. Wait, why is she saying that she wants lettuce? Because the bunny wanted carrots, not, uh, not lettuce. And so now Spike's gonna convince Fluttershy to hang out even though she's scared of the, the something. <laughs> Oh, that was a mildly interesting shot there. Kind of looked like Pinky had a big shadow, but it was just because she was in the, d the dark. Oh yeah, and I guess this isn't a uh, this isn't a Wizard of Oz parody, so I'm not sure what that picture was. I guess it's just gonna be a costume, and so they're all happy that she's she's gonna hang out with them on uh, Nightmare Night. There's the uh, little kids, their costumes. Oh, there's the vampire bat reference. Wait, I just realized, how the hell does a horse put a dress on? I mean, it's a cartoon, so it doesn't have to make sense, but, like, this is, like, what? Because, like, how does their feet go? I don't even know. I guess it, I, it doesn't matter. Oh, they're just doing this boring conversation about Fluttershy picking a costume. Okay, yeah, so there's, uh, that's, uh, Applejack wearing a costume. Oh, this, this feels very tame, though. Like, for the kinds of things you can do on, like, a Halloween episode, this feels very, very tame tame so i guess this is a it's like a thing where where people are fine if you don't want to participate in the things you, that they're doing even if just it's just that you're there with friends there's abominations of drawings <laughs> what the fuck is that fluttershy drawing looks like a crocodile with a really short mouth i guess they're getting annoyed at her though there she goes explaining it well, i guess that's important for her to say it out loud so fluttershy is gonna scare them i guess that's gonna i don't know like of all the, the things you could do with Halloween. Like what Fairly Odd Parents made everyone turn into real monsters and just do crazy shit. Star did the thing with Hungry Larry, this like giant ghost guy who like ate everyone in the town. Gravity Falls had the Summerween trickster who chased them around the town and was made out of the loser candy. Like Phineas and Ferb had that like crazy haunted house thing to make Isabella lose the hiccups. Like there's so many things you can do that are with, with Halloween. But this is so just boring and tame. And so I guess there's, there's the 
the joke on a tea party. It's just a bunch of petty things that she's gonna pretend that there's... What am I saying? It's just a bunch of things that are supposed to... That Fluttershy thinks are scary. You know, there's no sugar in the bowl. There's unplanned guests. It's one of the guests didn't show up. And it's not scary at all. But Fluttershy thinks it's scary or something. <laughs> wasn't even creative. I guess that's the point though. Yeah, because the things that scare her are really small and petty things. Not ghouls and ghosts. What the hell even is a ghoul? It's like a, it's just like a monster? I don't even know. I'll have to look that up. Oh no, she still didn't get any carrots for this bunny. Oh no, he just forgot about that. And so now the bunny is going to make scary things happen. Wait, that mask. <laughs> It's like that rubber horse mask that a, that a bunch of like, uh, it's like you people wear as a joke. I don't know what it's called. <sighs> There's Wilhelm scream. Also, I think, uh, the character at the front kind of looked like Fluttershy. He's either yellow or green skin, so maybe it was Granny Smith. Okay, Rainbow isn't scared because she can eat, know it's all fake. I guess this figure running around is Fluttershy. Or are these, I don't know. Wait, <laughs> the character in the background had, uh, I think she was dressed up as Twilight. That's kind of weird. Oh no, they're going in a hole in a tree. I don't know, I just see that and I think of that one part of that Harry Potter movie. That tree attacked them and then they, like, jumped into the roots. And so, uh, Applejack doesn't know what's going on, but, uh, it's Fluttershy that, that's doing this. Oh no, a fake skull. I guess that's actually kind of like, it's like the darkest the show has went, showing an actual skull. I'm actually kind of surprised that that, uh, that stuff got through. I don't know, still mostly bored though. I mean, at least now they're actually doing something though. With the maze, still really tame, but like, it's something. And I guess these are all of uh, Fluttershy's pets and costumes, like that one's the bear. I don't know, can't Twilight just levitate them out of the web? Or levitate that guy? Like, <sighs> so many problems can just be solved with magic. Oh yeah, or do that. Like, there you go. Like, so many scenes that could have tension don't because of the magic shit. Well, there's no actual threat. Oh, there's Fluttershy. Wait, what? I guess she let herself get bit by one of those, uh, by one of those bats again? Because there was some episode about bats forever ago. Or I guess she's just wearing a costume. And so Fluttershy scared him. Yeah, there's, the, okay, so yeah, there's the birds in the costumes. Yeah, and saw the animals that did all the stuff. Yep, that was the bear. And now they want her to do it all the time. So there's less thing. I guess that's good message. You know, some people just don't like certain things. I guess there's the ending, and there's a spooky music. Jump scare at the end? No? Okay. Okay, so this one was, uh... I don't know. This was basically a Halloween episode. Uh, they did have a, a Halloween episode before. I think it's the same. I, I don't remember anything about that other than it was about, uh, Luna getting, becoming good in the eyes of the town. Uh, so basically Fluttershy doesn't like Nightmare night because she doesn't like scary shit um so she's planning to just stay in her house the whole night but then she needs to go out and get food for her bunny she gets all scared and then spike convinces her to join the rest of her friends for the night and then um she like can't do or she doesn't want to do any of the, the games they play because they're scary and then they say that maybe she should try to scare them since she doesn't want to be scared and then she fails at that but then she gets inspiration from her animals and then actually scares them or scares them the main characters that is uh and then in the end she says even though she, like, she's good at scaring them she still doesn't want to do it next year because she doesn't like seeing her friends scared it's just not something she likes i guess it's okay lesson just show like you know some people just don't like certain events and sometimes people will just not want to be a part of them uh the start of this was like really really goddamn boring once they got into the maze it at least went started going somewhere and being mildly interesting but really boring for the most part just felt really really tame though for a halloween episode? I mean, of all the weird shit you can do? I mean, even stuff that's safe for kids. I mean, you can still do really weird shit and make it in interesting. But this was just, like, really, really tame and boring. I, I think I laughed, like, once. There was a background character that I think was dressed up as Twilight, so that was kind of funny. That's about it, um, for jokes. Yep, that's, uh, I don't know. I give this a, uh, I give this 4 out of 10. It was still mostly boring, but it had some moments, and then it got vaguely more interesting at the end. Yeah, nothing really to say about it other than that. Just a below average Halloween episode of a dog shit show. <laughs>